my wife always yells at me she doesn't want to understand i come from work i really work hard and when i reach home all that she has is yelling for me i don't know how to handle this kind of behavior like i get a feeling that she gets up in the morning with the intention to yell at me sometime during the day and that's how she her parents had been doing and she has picked up the same same behavior even now if you feel this way as a husband then i must uh, i believe that you should watch this video in this video just to give you a overall view of what i'm going to cover in this video i'm going to talk about why is she doing this from a scientific relationship science perspective then i'm going to talk about whole aspect of when then i'm going to go into the what part of it what can you do and the last one is how do you handle the situation how do you bring about transformation hi coach val here and i help men who want to create an amazing marriage men who are together but there is no love and they want to have loads of love and laughter men who are separated and they want to get back i teach them relationship science i help men who are going through a divorce process but deep down they know that they deserve a great marriage with this particular woman i help them to create that marriage so in this particular video i'm going to talk about why your wife is yelling at you and what can you do but before i do that here is a quick disclaimer this particular video and all my videos are for people or for men who have an open mind who have an open mind not for people not for men who have a closed mind so let me explain this when we go through a power struggle stage if you attend my one of my free uh, live master classes i'll give you the link at the end if you attend one of my free live master classes i go i go deeper into explaining to you what power struggle stage is but for now very quickly let me give you a sense power struggle is where you move from after the stage you get into after the romance stage so when we get into power struggle stage it is very easy to only see our wife's faults and more we look at those faults we are not able to fix our marriage so if you are somebody who is close minded and you're on youtube looking for reasons why your wife is always wrong and why you're always right and why your wife doesn't want to change then this is the wrong video to watch you can stop here but if you are somebody who has an open mind and who feels that your wife doesn't want to understand but at deeper level you want to find out why you want to find out the reason behind it you want to explore this whole new possibility of creating an amazing marriage by learning the new science called relationship science if you are somebody like this this video is for you so awesome since you are watching till here i believe that you are the second kind you have an open mind you are all set to learn with that intention let us jump in and start with the with the first part the question that i have for you is why do you want to know why do you want to know why do you want to know why your wife yells at you all the time that's my question now there are two reasons why you want to find out one to fix her the second one is to love her so let me explain both of them to you so that you can figure out so there are two reasons generally we want to find out why a wife yells at us okay the first one is obviously most men want to do so that we can stop her from yelling and when you get into that kind of a mindset then you're working from what i call it as a power struggle mindset where your focus is how do you fix her now if you're working from this i guarantee things will not work things will not change because at the at the end of the day you are thinking of yourself somebody better than your wife somebody who is higher than your wife and if you think this way you cannot bring back love a love in a marriage is always created between two people so if it is because you want to fix her nothing will work you will not be able to fix her more you try to fix her things will only get worse and probably you know this by now now the second way is because you want to love her you want to love her because this is the woman you got married and you want to find out what is bothering her deep inside her 
and if you love her the way she wants to be loved you understand the science and understand her psychology understand her mind and you start loving the way she wants to be loved i'll explain this in detail later as we go along if you do that then what's going to happen is she's going to stop yelling at you because we don't yell at people who love us and that love in our marriage has to begin with one person it cannot begin with two people that's the reason i always believe that um there's a beautiful beautiful song that says let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me so even in your marriage it has to begin with one person so the song can be is let there be love on earth love in my marriage and let it begin with me so you want to love her and loving her you might say to me well i've tried everything to love her it's like telling me that you know i got this i got this television in my house and i have a two screwdriver and uh, it was not working the sound was not coming or the 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 picture was not coming what i did was i opened this te television and i did everything possible but it's still not working my question for you would be did you learn to fix televisions did you learn to learn to fix televisions anywhere and you say no then how is it going to be fixed no matter how much effort you put into it how much time you have spent in trying to fix it how is it going to fix the same with relationships if you want to bring back love you got to learn because marriage is like like a plant it needs watering and you got to learn how to water it how to put the right manure so that is the first part why and if it is about love then i'm going to give you all the answers so let us go to the second one when and when will help you to understand it will um give you a perspective on it will it's a prerequisite for making your wife to stop yelling okay so let's ask this let's ask a question when do we yell okay so when i mean by when i say the word yell i mean that when do we talk loudly in real life okay forget about emotions and all that in physically when do we talk loudly two times correct twice in one situation where we are away from the other person so there is somebody who is standing there 100 meters away i don't have a phone she or he doesn't have a phone and i need to communicate something to him or her i got to yell i got to talk loudly i want you to think now and connect it with your marriage okay now the second way is when do we talk loudly when do we yell it is when we are hurt that means you are you are walking in this crowd and somebody stamps on your leg and you get this pulsating pain and you yell right now look at your marriage look at your wife and ask this simple question the question is this let me just open this there are two reasons why your wife could be yelling at this moment because she feel a sense of distance between you she feels that you are not listening you're not able to she is not able to put across whatever she wants to say when there is a distance and if you look at your marriage at the initial phase and at that time there was no there was no yelling because you were close to each other you're physically close to each other you are emotionally close to each other and she didn't yet have to yell to get her thoughts and words and feeling across so that's the first one the second thing to understand is um she's feeling a sense of let's come back here let me open this it's because she's feeling hurt it's like there could be things that you're doing are things which are making her feel in a physical term you're stepping you're stepping on her foot and it pains she's getting an excruciating pain right now you're not able to figure out what that you're doing and that's fine because what happens with the brain is a brain cannot see the mistakes that we do a brain is wired to hide our mistakes it can only see the other person's mistakes and that's why we need to learn relationship science that's why we need to learn relationship science that's right so before i continue um if you are willing to learn relationship science i'm going to give you a link in the description it is 
I'll write it out here as well. It is coachval.co. Go here and sign up for this free masterclass that I do. All right. So it's a live masterclass. It's 90 minutes. I'll break down everything for you. Now let's continue to the next part. And that is what? What do you need to do? And there are three things. The first thing you got to do is, and I want you to listen to this with an open mind. Because if you don't listen to this with, an, with a closed mind, the immediate reaction is, oh, I've tried all that. And in most of the time, you have probably you have tried it once, twice, try it three times, or five times, ten times. I'm talking about the culture. It's not about trying. It's about being that way. Week after weeks, months after months. Okay? So don't argue. This is the first one. And why you not argue? Why you not argue? You could tell me, but Val, what if? Like when I say don't argue, I also mean listen. But you might tell me, but in my case, how can I listen and not argue when she is wrong? When she is wrong? When, uh, when she is absolutely doesn't make sense? And if I listen to her, what's going to happen is she thinks that I'm agreeing with everything that she's saying. If you think this way, let me give you a perspective. Okay. The perspective is there are two aspects to this. The first aspect is when she is trying to communicate something with you, check out how she is also right. Because there's one particular course that I do is called conflict resolution. And in that course, I talk about 99% of the time, your and your spouse are correct. Both of you are correct. All right. And you got to find out how she is correct. And then only you will be able to listen. Then only you will not be arguing. But then you might say that, but in my case that she is absolutely wrong. You know, she is saying that I've done this, I've hit her, I've done this. But I have not done that or I have done it only once and she says she she's blowing things out of proportion. Now when you are saying that, what you are listening to are the facts, not the emotions. You are listening to facts and you are arguing with her. What you got to listen to is the emotions. And when you listen to the emotions, what happens is it makes sense to you. It really doesn't matter how many times you have done something. And how many times she is saying that you have done something. What matters is what she is feeling. Okay. So this is the next part. That means you got to listen. And, uh, and what to listen as I mentioned. You got to listen to her emotions. And not to what she is saying. Alright. And the third thing is you got to make her feel. And I am going to tie all this. Into helping you understand why what I'm teaching you right now has a boomerang effect. It might look like that you're only doing it for the other person and you're only caring for the other person and you have tried all this and nothing has worked out. But if you do it diligently, like the men in our community called awesome husband do diligently week after week, months after months, what happens is there is a total shift that happens in their spouse and they are surprised at the possibility of how all this has evolved. So let's come back to the question of, um, um, of this. So how do you go about the, the things that you got to, sorry, the things you got to make a feel. There are five things you got to make a feel through listening is that she matters. When you listen and you don't argue, she feels that she matters. The second thing she will feel is you are there for her. And the third thing she feels is she's good, right and wonderful human being. And these are the sweetest things that we want to feel. And when we feel this way, we also start reciprocating it. See, let's understand one thing. Your wife, there is nobody in the world who says to themselves that today is Tuesday, Mangalwar. And Mangalwar is a good day to do something. And in my case, I want to start yelling at my husband. 3 o'clock is a good time. Some Pandit has told me that yelling at 3 o'clock really works out well. And I'm going to yell at him at 3 o'clock. It doesn't happen that way. So I got to understand what is it that is triggering her to feel this way. Okay. Now let's come to the next part. The next part is how. How all this. 
will bring about change in your marriage how all this will bring about change in your marriage there are two things the first one is something called a primal panic and let me explain what primal panic is so you get an idea so what is primal panic primal panic is this is by relationship scientists they talk about primal panic and um, she's a, this particular person called sue johnson explain this and i'll explain it in my own words imagine that you're a five-year-old child and you're you have gone to kummela okay if you have gone to kummela and uh, suddenly you are separated from your parents you just can't find them you're looking for them everywhere and they're nowhere to be seen and after about one or two hours after about crying 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 your parents come back how are you going to respond at that time you're going to shout at them cry probably you're going to do all that but it's not because um you are you hate them it's because there's so much of panic that you have gone through now the exact thing that happens to our spouse when we are in power struggle stage what happens to us is uh, many a times because there is so much of disconnection that happens in power struggle stage as men we want to move away from that mess not all of us but many of us and the reason why we want to move away from that mess is at least there will be silence and silence is peace so as long as I'm spending more time at the workplace, as long as I'm coming late, um, there will be less chances for her to yell at me. Now, this is not true for everybody, but if it is true for you, I want you to think about it. Okay, so let's come to this part of primal panic. So how it's going to work out is she's going to feel relaxed when you listen. And when I say listen, you got to listen. You're nodding your head. You're looking at her. You're not on the phone uh your you have a calm expression because you understand her pain and that sort is going to relax her and that is the only way she feels better but i've heard it from men who are going through the worst case worst situation possible they are meeting their wife in the court and their wife is yelling screaming and they have gone through this process of understanding and learning relationship science and understanding their wife and primal panic and the next thing I'm going to talk about mirror neurons and all that they have learned. And when they are there, they are absolutely calm. And they have told me that when my wife came, she was shouting and screaming and saying that 30 lakhs is the only way. If you give me 30 lakhs, then I'm going to withdraw all those cases. Otherwise, your marriage is over. She has told me all that. And then I just listened. I listened from my heart, not from my head, but I listened from my heart. And when I did that, there's something shifted in her. She calmed down. Then I shared my thoughts and feelings and just the way you taught me. And that what, that's what brought, up the, brought about the shift. So if you are part of the Awesome Husband Sub and if you are listening to this, I want you to write in the comments um, what was that you learned about primal panic. All right. So let's continue. So this is about primal panic. The next thing is mirror neurons. What are mirror neurons? Let me give you an example. You are, you are um, having, you're yawning. Let's say I'm yawning. I'm looking at you and I'm yawning. And when you look at me yawning, I might have yawned on this video. It is recorded. It's not right at this moment. But if I yawn right now, there's a tendency in you to yawn. Now, what's happening is there are mirror neurons which get triggered in your brain and you start mirroring my behavior. Now, this is for the physical aspect, even for the emotional aspect, that's how things work. When you start listening and you start talking in a calm manner, consistently, that is the most important word. If you try this for one day, two days, three days, one month, things will not work. But if you put it consistently and you make it a culture, then what happens is she is going to also calm down. There's one more element. There's a bonus tip that I want to give you. And before I give you this bonus tip, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you're liking this video so far, click on that, um, click on that like button. And uh, if you got, want to get that notification first, whenever I put up the video, click on that uh, bell icon. All right. So here's the bonus tip. The bonus tip is next time when your wife yells at you, what I would invite you to do 
is ask yourself what should i do next time what should i do next time so that she doesn't have to yell at me let me explain what i mean by what do you have to do next time so that she doesn't have to yell at me so let's say your wife uh, has asked you to get a packet of milk so from coming back from work now when you come home you don't have a packet of milk and then she starts starts yelling at you now when she starts yelling at you you are you should ask yourself what is it that's making up yell at me now certainly it is not a packet of milk it's not a big deal you can always go back and get that packet of milk or you can do 101 things you can adjust without the milk but what you need to do is when you're going to look at this particular situation you're going to ask yourself that what is it about the milk or not me not getting it making up feel and most probably what she is feeling is he doesn't matter to you and that's why you didn't get the milk now you don't get into explaining that you matter to me and uh, you know just about the milk um, otherwise we are i really love you you don't explain just do it the next time and consistently take care of our emotional needs and when you do that you'll start noticing an amazing change because when people feel loved and truly feel love they start loving back and when they start loving back there is nothing that can stop you from having a great marriage so that's all from my side if you like this video once again subscribe to the channel click that press, uh, bell icon like uh, press on the like button and uh, attend the master class i've given you the link in the description just attend the live master class it is totally free and before we end i want you to recall the whole video that you have watched and write in the chat box in the comment section what's the one thing you have learned one thing you have learned because just like you i am also on a quest to having an amazing marriage helping others to have an amazing marriage and what has helped me is learning relationship science so that's all from my side thank you very much for uh, going through this video and there are a lot more videos that are waiting for you so just wait for this video to get over and then you'll find a lot more videos and just click on the video that you like and continue watching until we connect again probably at the live master class or on one of these videos keep your love story alive bye bye